I got some containers here. These are five gallon containers. Last night we drilled some holes in them. Here we go. And these here are two gallons. So I'm going to start putting my soil in, in the containers. But, but first, you guys, I want to save on soil. So I'm going to fill them up with some item on the garden. Oh. Let's go over here to this tree. I also have some logs that I'm going to be putting down there as well. The more rotten they are, they, this the better. They hold more moisture. So I'm going to start taking some of this, break it up, and put them into the containers. And I need two hands for this, so I'm going to let you guys watch me. Enjoy. Okay guys, this is what I have so far. Someone told me to put some pine cones in there. That's just a spray. So I just put it in one of my buckets. And also I have, so just wood chips and pieces of broken branches that I found around in the yard. Also, I'm gonna put some dry leaves, which is also good for the soil. So you guys, when the wood is down in the soil, it help keep the soil moist it, especially if it's um have rotted it down it keeps water in the soil so this is a way to save on your soil you guys and it's also healthy for your plant and soil so i'm about to add some dry leaves now i'm going to add the wood and dogs i'm going to soak them in some lemon water and i'm going to kill anything that's in there i'm going to try to then i'm going to put the leaves in Guys, I made a huge mess. I already started sleeping up. <laughs> I had to move the containers. Everything, so I made a big mess breaking up these logs. They were actually easy to break up, but they just made a huge mess. So I'm about to sweep all this up and put it in the container. All of it is dried leaves, dried grass. And it's just gonna be something that makes the dirt and plants more nutritious. So stay tuned. All right, so also putting down some pine, some dry pine. I'm just making sure that the wood don't hit the soil. So see where I'm gonna tuck some of that wood down Below the, below the leaves and I'm going to make sure that none of the wood touch the soil. Just put a little barrier between the wood and the soil 
and I had picked some pine. I made some honey detergent. I made some um, medicinal products out of it. And I just had some left over, so I decided to put it inside my buckets. a little bit of um, pine cone mulch and I just wanted to put it on top of the leaves to prevent the soil you from hitting the the wood directly which is still good for it but I just don't want to hit it directly so I just put the mulch in the big buckets the five gallon containers because they have the logs in them which is broken up some of them but um, yeah this is what we have so far now I have to get the soil ready um, I wish I got the soil ready initially but I didn't because I'm already tired and that's going to be a job homemade pot of soil left over we got compost and we got perlite and piedmont so I left my oil in my cart and I wanted to know if you guys will help me get it out I would really appreciate it let's see You guys will help me. Oh, it's dirty. I've been transporting a lot of garden stuff. So this is the pot and soil you I got. Flowers, vegetables, and herbs. This is the cheapest thing I could find. Guys. So can you guys help me? 30.4 pounds. Since you guys not gonna help me. Hold on, I'll call you back. Okay guys, I made it safely. By myself. So I'm now home by myself. With my baby doggies. Okay, guys, I mix everything together and I'm adding it to each one. You guys, the sun is out. I'm just doing this for video purposes. I got to go. Alright, I'll come back to you guys when it's done. For my last bucket, um, I'm glad that I stretched out my my dirt I made to where that I can, you know, have enough soil you. I do have more soil you here, just in case and I have two more bags, but um, I plan on putting some watermelons in the ground. So I do got some brown soil you. So um, yeah, I'm glad I made it stretch. So I did like this for all of them. My my, I let my rake to somebody, not my rake, my shovel to someone, and it just not has returned back. <laughs> so I have my small shovel with me, and it's working just fine taking a lot more work a lot more exercise I guess I need it I hope you guys are gardening save money on the soil and save money by growing your own foods 
here I have my yellow squash. I have pepper right here. Right here I have zucchini. 